in 1859 when a surveyor named Rufus Cable first saw this 300 feet rock formation jutting into the sky he called it a garden fit for the gods and from there the name garden for the gods has come gardens red rock formations were created during geological upheaval millions of years back in 1879 charles eliot perkins a friend of palmer had purchased 480 acres of land which included part of the garden of the gods after his death his family donated the land to the city of colorado springs with the provision that the park will be free for all the visitors the remaining land came from palmer after his death therefore the entrance to the garden of the gods is totally free for all the visitors the park which lies in the city of colorado springs was established in 1909 in 1971 it was designated as national natural landmark there is a visitor center just across the road and it houses a cafeteria a information center and an auditorium which screens films about the landmark these rocks have names like the balanced rock or the cathedral valley or three graces or the kissing camels etc you can drive through the garden and there are designated parking places where you can park and then go and see the nearby areas the shapes and sizes of the rock all of which are in red color are absolutely astonishing and one can spend hours walking through the garden and taking pictures essentially from the visitor centers if you look you will see the main colors which is red red of the red rock blue sky white clouds and greenery so the color combination is really superb from the visitor center if you look in the direction of the garden of the gods you can see the pikes peak far in the background the garden of the gods is popular for hiking technical rock climbing road and mountain biking and horseback riding over 2 million visitors visit the garden of the gods each year there are 15 miles of trails for the hikers the garden is also popular with rock climbers you have to obtain permits from the authorities you need to have proper safety gear for the climbing rock climbing is not permitted during rainy season or during icy conditions many deaths have occurred due to use of unsafe practices or unsafe equipment the visitor center located on 30th street offers an excellent view of the garden of the gods there is a cafeteria there and there are 30 educational exhibits a movie how did the red rocks get there runs every 20 minutes i am sure you would want to visit the garden of the gods